going on, everybody? Here with a special guest, Ms. Demetria McKinney. How are you today? I am awesome. How are you? I'm good. You look good today in all of this heat. You ain't sweating. I don't see no... <laughs> I know. Tell me about it. So you've been busy, to say the least. I mean, Essence Festival, touring, your makeup line, lipstick line. Yes, honey. <laughs> So how, how is everything? So first let's talk about touring. Are you still on tour? Are you all taking a break? We are on a slight break. Literally, we just got one month off. We start again next month. And the tour with R. Kelly, the buffet tour, has been just as awesome as the Black Panties tour was. Um, when you work with a legend like that who's been able to work with some of the people that you admire, like the Whitney Houston's, the Michael Jackson's, it's just a dream and you get to kind of soak it all in. And he's been super cool with me, so I'm, I'm loving every moment of it. And that's amazing, because I actually went to the concert here and you were sick, I believe. Yes. You actually were sick, so you're better now, of oh, course. 100%, 100%. That's good, that's good. So talk about your cosmetics, I love lipsticks. Do you have any, um, like the matte? Are you into the matte yet, or is it just lip gloss? Well, right now, the DMK collection has um, glossy lip glosses, and the packaging itself is kind of unique because there's an actual mirror on the side panel, and when you take out the wand, it lights up. So wherever you're at, you can see yourself, and you can get it right. But I'm also going to add four um, matte lipstick colors. So it's ironic that you asked that. Yeah, we've got that coming really soon, and the, the response to it has been awesome. We've been approached by QVC. We're in talks with Sally's and Elta, so keep your fingers crossed. Keep your blessings going. <laughs> that is amazing. So House of Pain, a lot of people kind of know you uh, for the crackhead on House yeah, of Pain. Yeah. Do you kind of get tired of that? Like, do people ever come up to you and kind of, you know, Janine, <laughs> kind of talk about that role? I know it has to be annoying. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of people that have been in this industry get their quote-unquote old name called to them and they get upset. To me, it's a blessing. I think that it's awesome when people know your work and they feel that relatable to the character that they feel like that is who you are, even though I I ain't never touch no pipe. But you know, it's 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 reassuring that you know you've made a change, especially when they come up to you and say, you know, my mom was your character or I was your character and those those situations on the sitcom caused conversation in the home. So I love it. That's amazing. Now would you say that's kinda like your breakout role? Absolutely. That kind of puts you on the map a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, so gearing into that, you're singing. Yeah. I did not know you could blow like that until I seen you at CIAA and you sung, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like that. You have an amazing voice. So talk about the transition from acting to singing. Which one is your passion? Passion. My passion has always been music. Ever since the first time I heard Whitney Houston's voice, I was like, I want to stir something in somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, acting has been paying the bills for a very long time and kept me as a single mother able to support my son. So it's something that I will never give up, never stop doing, and always, always embrace. But whenever I have the opportunity to be myself and just really give my musical side, that, that'll be where I'm at. That is amazing. So do you have any EPs, any album? What's, what's going on with the music at this current moment? Well, the current single, Unnecessary Trouble, has done awesome. Um, Trade It All did great. 100 went all the way to number four on Love iTunes. It. Love that song. And um, the actual album, Officially Yours, will be out very soon. I've got one more single coming at y'all, just so y'all can get good and ready for it. And that should be out by about October time frame. Okay, sounds good. Is there any features on the album that we should know about? Or? You gotta buy it. Oh, we're not giving it up. Oh my gosh. Look, she plugging herself. So let's talk before I let you go, let's talk about housewives. Okay. How was that? I mean I know it's drama filled. There's a lot of people that keep up a lot of shit on that show. Yes. Who would I guess what are your favorite moments on there and who are your least and your favorite people on the show? Woo, my favorite moment was the first time I came on the screen. Because I was still kind of oblivious as to what I was getting myself into. My second favorite moment, I have to say, is when I was actually performing. And everybody who had something to say had to shut up. Right. And shit was awesome. Um, now, as far as my favorite people on the show, I would have to say it would be Cynthia Bailey. I just love her spirit. I love who she is on and off camera because I've known her for a very long time. She's always been consistently her. And I'm just so happy for all the blessings that are coming her way. Now, at certain places, I ain't gonna park because I don't play in them areas. Did you get my Did you get my drift with the park? Okay, okay. <laughs> Nothing she, wrong with that. I don't, I don't mess with that Phaedra. I, I got you. Look, and we're not gonna comment on that because I'm right there with you. Before I let you go, <laughs> let's see Let's see the ring. I know you're engaged and everything. Congratulations to you. So is the Is that you know? Are you in a happy place now with that? 
happy place. I'm not in a very prepared place. We've both been busy, been, been very busy. He's had a couple of movies come out, a couple of sitcoms come out. I've been touring nonstop and then doing stuff like tonight at the Studio Movie Grill and filming my own stuff with Bounce TV, Saints and Sinners, and getting the music and everything together. So we're getting to a crossroads where we're going to actually start the planning process because it's coming soon. Oh, that's exciting. Well, congratulations to you. I wish you all the best success, and I appreciate you sitting down with me today. Thank you. Thank you.